we've been monitoring this story for weeks as the fighting intensified between government forces backed by Russia and rebels in the area. And now the Syrian army claims to have taken back a key border crossing, the Nazib crossing with Jordan. So these claims from the Syrian army supported by footage shared uh, by pro-government media claiming to show the Syrian army advancing into areas they have not held for three years, taking down the flag of the opposition and moving into areas that were previously under opposition control. The rebels putting down their weapons and uh, surrendering, moving out. Now, to verify these pictures and to make sure they are where from they uh, they are where they're from where they say they are and they're shot by who they are uh, supposed to be shot by, we use geolocation using key geographical features in these images. And Rachel on our team here has been using a number of satellite imagery tools to make sure this pic these pictures are indeed authentic. Let's just bring you a little zoom in of this. This is the Nasib border crossing. Zooming in now, and we use key geographic features from here to recognize features and landmarks in that footage from the Syrian army and can confirm that that picture does indeed come from this area, showing the Syrians reclaiming this territory. Rachel, if we just zoom out ever so slightly, nine kilometers away is the joint Jordan-Syria free trade area. Now this is an area where there are more videos coming out, this time showing tens of thousands of people pinned as they are between the Jordanian border, which has remained closed throughout this latest, off this latest offensive, and what was intense fighting supported by airstrikes and heavy artillery between uh, pro-government forces supported by Russia and uh, elements of the rebel forces. Now they are pinned in this area with many people saying absolutely nowhere to go. And we used key features here to geolocate and prove that this video indeed shows some of those tens of thousands of people and the conditions they're living in. I mean, look at this makeshift tents, tarpaulin on poles, it seems. Families, people of all ages trapped in this no man's zone, as it seems to be, between a Jordanian border that, the border that has remained closed throughout the offensive and homes that have been, in many cases, destroyed by heavy fighting. Now, many in the international community calling on Jordan to open its borders. Let's just bring you up a tweet uh, from Amnesty International calling for Jordan and indeed the international community to step up to provide water, food, medical care and sanitary services. Hashtag take action is what Amnesty are saying. And uh, very quickly, one last thought from a Jordanian journalist quoting a Syrian woman there saying, I don't want food and water. I want safety. Please let us in. Strong message to Jordan there.